Okay. Um, you come from? I'm from Dallas, Texas. I went to high school in Frisco, Te well actually I did elementary school in Highland Park um, all the way up until sixth grade and then uh, my family moved to Frisco well, while it was cheap, nobody was out there and went to high school out in Frisco and lived in Dallas ever since. Okay, all right. Uh, what are some uh, major influences on you? Major influences, uh, music probably. What kind of music? I'm into I'm into really everything except for uh, rap music. Not big into rap. Um, I like classic music. I was a fan of uh, Andy Williams in the past. Um, uh, as far as movies are concerned, I'm I'm into anything that's not real mainstream. I started off big into horror films, uh, low budget Evil Dead type stuff. That's kind of what those influences. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Uh, my biggest influence was growing up in a movie store. My family owned a chain of them um, when I was younger and we'd, I'd go there when I got out of uh, daycare and would spend the majority of the day up there and that translated into me working in one when I became 16. I, I worked, that was the longest job I had, five years movie training company. I'm like, you know what, I know everything about this, why not try to do it? Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, all right. Love uh, it. Experience making, experiences making the most lasting impression on you? Uh, well, I don't understand. Uh, experiences that you've had in the past that make a lasting impression that you still remember? Um, Things that happened to you. Good, bad, whatever. Something that lasted on me. I, I think probably recently. Um, I had a hard time telling my family that this is what I wanted to do for a living. Um, because you know, there's the stability into it and you know your family wants to see you go and, and work and do what you want to do. And um, last August on my birthday before I started up school, my mom came and we said, well, what are you going to do? I've just been working a remedial job, just got out of a four-year relationship, bad relationship. He said, where are you going to go? With, what, what do you want to do with your life? Said, right now is an opportunity for you to go several different directions. You didn't go to school. Like, I graduated high school and moved out. I actually had moved out before I graduated. Uh, living with a girl, having a girl, doing the whole thing, thinking that was like what I was supposed to do. And I, I basically lost about 10 years of my life. And all that ended, I said, well, what do you want to do? You're not going to get anywhere unless you have a goal and where you're going to be. And the conversation me and my mother had on my birthday, and I said, you know what, I want to be an actor. And I, her, the way that she took it, she was like, you know what, I think it's, I think they're absolutely right. And I didn't expect them to be on board with it. And just everything they've done from this point forward has, has been a life changer for me. Okay, and your outlook on life is primarily determined by? Uh, making it home at the end of the day, safely. I, I pray in the morning and say, God, just make sure everything works out and I get home at the end of the night, and I'm happy with that. So. Yeah. Your temperament could be described as um, uh, up and down, uh, I, high energy. I, you know, a little fidgety sometimes. Um, I like I like to I like to be the center of attention most of the time. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I'd like to think I'm a high energy person. Right. Yeah. Okay. Above all else, you believe in God. Very spiritual person, okay. which would surprise a lot of people, but that's the truth. Okay, all right. Uh, what uh, you want to most, or what you want most to achieve in life is? Uh, what I want to achieve in life is I want to make a mark. I, I, I want to be known for something um, in a positive way. And I understand you're going to have to go through a period where you're going to have to go through the negative in order to get to the positive, but I want to make a mark, especially in this industry, in whatever capacity. I don't want to come here and say, oh, I want to be Tom Cruise. Right. I would be happy knowing that I woke up every day and was doing what I want to do. And I understand waking up every morning, you, you know, you're not going to want to go sometimes, da, 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 da. but you're still doing what you want to do, doing what you want to do. I've spent years working jobs and jobs, and it's miserable because I wasn't doing what I thought I should be doing. Right. So I would be happy at the end of the day to be in this industry in any sort of capacity. If all your dreams come true, mm. you will. Be hosting The Tonight Show. <laughs> Thank you very much.